It's EA Play going on right now, which means NBA Live is dropping news. It's gems out here. They announced a bunch of shit. We're reacting to a couple videos. The one, which is the story mode, which I think a lot of people predicted. They have a new archetype system as well, so I kind of want to dive into that. There's just a lot of shit going on, man. So I'm going to react to this one here first. The one trailer, which is in story mode. Let's get into it. I've seen it already, though. We always see some new shit on your NBA second time around. NBA is an all-new way to pursue your legacy. Centered on you, your journey is defined by the choice. This shit you is make. dope. Yo, pause it real quick. Now, wouldn't it be some type of shit if there was real pro am maps on all these places? We already know there's one in Seattle. They have Venice in Los Angeles. We know they have Toronto because they have Hoop Dome. We know they have New York because they have Rucker Park. But if San Francisco and Dallas and Chicago and Cleveland and all these places are, I'm just saying, the streets, the league. I already know what I'm fucking with. You earn on the streets matters just as much as the rings you earn in the league. Rise through the ranks in the league. That's pretty an dope, man. NBA experience where you dominate the hardwood on your way to winning championships. But the new NBA Live goes beyond the league, taking you into the streets. That was the archetype right there. Wing scorer are different. Team up with friends to take down NBA legends at historic courts like Venice Beach. Throughout your journey, your encore performance leads to increased skills and new gear as your height builds in both the streets and the league. From Venice to Rucker Park and everywhere in between. Join the community with five on five pickup games yes. at iconic real world courts. Hit the Drew League and continue to build your legacy in the Pro-Am Tour. Earn the right to go head to head with the very best and show off your signature style. From East Coast to West Coast, from the streets to the league, everything you do matters. Yo, your legacy is defined by you and how you choose to play. That's this actually. Is your world. It's time for you to be the one. I think this is what they should have announced first, uh -huh. man. Now, one, I'm not much of a single player guy, and so it has to be a pretty good fucking single player to get me to play it. And take a look at this because I was looking through the archetype screen a little bit earlier. I'm aware that wing scorer is one of the archetypes. And underneath it, you can see badges, and one is locked until level 30. And so it's something you have to work towards depending on how much rep you have. And so instead of sitting there mindlessly grinding my career, this seems like for the players who actually play this shit, that they're gonna be the ones who's rewarded, which makes sense. And another thing I've always preferred with live is that you, it's not like you just earn microtransactions and then spend it on whatever you want. And you know, that was cool at a certain point, but I like that they reward you depending on how well you do. So if you're banging from three, that's the attribute that's gonna get a plus one. I think that's the way it should be because it rewards what you're good at. That's smart. And they kind of show off some of their categories, contested shots, shot off dribble, layup, inside shot, dribble, mid-range shot. All which is expected. And of course, like usual, EA likes to do EA things. The, the presentation is fucking incredible. I like the map layout they have. It kind of reminds me of the crew or maybe even pushing NBA Street. Hey, we'll move on to the second video. Now, I don't think I could play the audio on this one. I think this is the one that had Kendrick in the background. And I'm not trying to catch copyright. But let's play it though. I think I, I've seen this already. And I'm going to talk over over the Kendrick the animations this is what they should have dropped from the jump I think this should have been the first thing we seen from live cuz it just looks so much better you some of the animations still look kinda wonky which is like uh but then from what I'm hearing the people who played it I'm about to play it tomorrow it feels so much better and I'm really hoping they put an emphasis on the park stuff, the Pro-Am stuff, because that's where I'm going to be on most of the time. And these are some of the clips we've seen in the gameplay that they sent us, if you remember. It does the presentation was so much better because they caught you on good angles. And I don't know if you guys watched the EA Play press conference. Uh, they said there's going to be a free demo dropping. EA likes to do that. So in August, we're gonna get a chance to play this, which is dope. I mean, you drop, you have, for the most part, if you have a demo coming out, you should be pretty confident that your game is gonna be wavy because if you drop a demo and the gameplay's trash, no one's gonna actually buy the game, so. But here's, here's the thing I was most excited about, man. I, somebody sent me this shit on fucking, well, let's pause this. The wall. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna it's pause this? 
I'm not gonna let me pause this little fucking tiny. Oh, okay, got it. Alright, this is the shit I'm excited about because when NBA before NBA 2K17 launched, archetype system was announced, and we got to see the specific different types of archetypes uh, with the prelude. And I started to rack my brain about which is gonna be the best one, and I kind of came it was between playmaker or sharpshooter. And so I was debating between the two. I'm lucky I went with sharpshooter because it was easily the best when the game launched, incredibly overpowered, and through all the nerves, they kind of tried to balance things out. But this gets me excited because it reminds me of that all over again because they had two years to do this I'm assuming and I know I'm sure they have a little bit more balance and it's not gonna be as crazy but as you look through this they have uh, guards then they have wing players then they have big men so they have archetype systems for each and so it's not every position point guard shooting our small forward it's the three right there so for the guards they got the point shooter now I don't have to think about this this is the archetype that I'm gonna end up going with there's a slasher, which they like into Westbrook. They got the backcourt defender, which obviously is 3 and D. That's what it says. And so you should be able to shoot the three ball pretty nice. But you're also going to be wavy defensively. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. This seems like, you know, when, when you play, especially competitively, this seems like it'd be a pretty beneficial one, especially if you run up against a lot of point shooters. Uh, and then, of course, they got the playmaker, the balance player, when you can do the all-around shit. But if we scroll down, they got the wing players, the wing shooter, Clay, wing scorer, DeRozan, they got the wing defender, of course, and the hybrid wing, which, I'm not gonna lie, looks a little bit overpowered if you put Giannis on there. Because Giannis could play a ton of defense, <laughs> he can score the ball, he can't really shoot the ball though, so, but, I mean, that's the balanced player they went with. Anyway, it's just a picture. Uh, for the for the big man, they got the rim protector, the stretch for the post anchor, and the post score. But you can actually click on these, which is dope, and they give you all this information up front. It's one of the things I like about EA is usually around this time with E3, and now they got EA Play, they drop a lot of info. When it comes to 2K, they stay super quiet when it comes to info. You're not going to hear shit until a month before. You're not going to hear anything really important until a couple weeks before, and that's if they drop a demo. But let me click on this point shooter real quick. So give and take. Giving an assist gives you a stackable boost to your three-point shooting ability and here's the thing I've been talking about before anybody said it a couple months into the launch of NBA 2k17 I said out loud they should give us primary archetypes secondary and tertiary so primary you can max the shit all the way up to 94 secondary maybe 86 tertiary maybe 80 it makes sense you don't feel so confined into the space of an archetype system and I feel like it allow people more control it'll give you some sort of uniqueness anybody could be a sharpshooter but who's gonna be a sharpshooter in a lockdown a lot less who's gonna be a sharp shooter as lockdown secondary and then fuck a slasher tertiary a lot less and so it's unique it feels like you're building your own player and I feel like that's the next step and EA just took that step so primary skills your three-point shot your passing your mid range shot and your dribbling I'm glad they put dribbling in there because last thing you want is a shooter that can't dribble at the point guard position they got secondary skills steal inside shot contested shot and then traits, which I'm sure is the badges, is quick pass, your free throw, and sure handles. I'm, that that kind of shit gets me excited, man. And I'd be I'd be so much more excited right now if they told me that you can grind for this stuff all online. So I can play the single player, try it out one time, but I don't have to ever touch it ever again because I'd much rather be playing online than playing single player. And you can kind of swing through these. So this one here is the guard slasher, which is the Westbrook type. You got the layup, inside shot, dribbling. I'm, I'm just saying, like, this shit is... Im I'm so happy that they went down this path. I know some people don't like you. Oh, I want to be an all-around superstar. But it's no fucking fun being an all-around superstar, seven-foot, three-point shooting dribbler. It's everybody's going to do the same drip moves, have the same type of player. Um, I'm excited to play it. From what I'm hearing, it's a massive improvement from Live 16. Uh, from what I'm hearing, it isn't... I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I can't compare it to 2K because we don't know shit about 2K18 yet. But I figured this was worth the video, man. I'm getting a little bit too excited over this. Now I'm going to have to start doing a little bit of research and finding out which archetype is best for me. Although I'm probably going to end up going with the Curry because I have to have the best shooting ability. Leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I gotta go. I'm out. Peace.